What's up, Internet? Hey, guys. Uh, today is such a wonderful and exciting and peaceful day. Uh, today is August 18th, 2020. I don't know when I'm putting this up, but today is Pamela and my two-year wedding anniversary. Two years ago on this day, we were saying our vows, getting married in front of our family and friends down in Florida. It was incredible. Right now, we are uh, near Blue Ridge, Georgia, Blue Ridge Mountains, in a cabin. Uh, we're about to cook dinner. We're having scallops tonight. And I just have, I have not felt this amount of peace and joy in so long. And I, I know 2020 is crazy, but uh, I'm finding so much joy this year in ways that I hadn't felt, I mean, since I was a kid. So this is the cabin. I want to show you the cabin quickly. I might do a whole walk through this beautiful place. It's incredible. Um, the sun's about to go down. Uh, she's already in the kitchen. I'm going to be doing the scallops. I'm all over the place right now. I'm just so excited. But uh, here is the cabin. I can hear the music playing. I think she has John Sakata playing. She's in there. Oh, gosh. Uh, do you guys see this? Obviously you can. Look at that. Uh, this is locked on this side, so... Hello, baby. This is the living room. <laughs> oh, uh, I'm kidding. I'm, I'm fine. Like I said, I don't know if I'm gonna do like a full walkthrough. That's kind of magical. My eyes look a little glossy. We were in the hot tub mm -hmm. earlier. I got some chlorine in my eyes. Um, well, the sun is setting. We are prepping for dinner right now. Happy anniversary. Don't know why I spoke to you like a baby, Anna Bothawi. I don't know why I did that. I just almost vomited in my own mouth. I didn't. We have been wanting scallops for probably over a year, maybe. Has it been that long since we've had scallops? It was in LA last year. It wasn't even this year. The preheat is ready in the oven. We're doing scallops and asparagus and uh, baby bell mushrooms with risotto. And I need to show you guys this sunset. Pammy, we might have to pause you doing this and let's go look at the sunset let's and then we'll go. get back to cooking. Let's go. There's an upstairs. I'm so, so pleased with this place. It's beautiful. You guys know if you've watched me for a while that cabin life in the mountains, that's, that's my happy place. Mm -hmm. Add Pamela Rose Rodriguez Evans into my life. I had the warmth in this room and you. I mean, come on, what's up with that? I made the bed and we drew the head. You did make the bed. Oh. <laughs> oh. Wow. So, right now, I'm going to watch this with her. Turn this off. And we're going to get back to cooking. Not everything is for the camera. But I did want to include you guys with this beautiful moment in our lives. So, we're going to watch a sunset. And I'll I see you. I hope you see a sunset right now also. Oh yeah, you will. There you are. Makes me think of the opening scene from Lion King. I know, I was thinking the exact same thing. Nah, come on, yeah, what are we doing about? Back to the kitchen. We got the asparagus, we got the mushrooms, and we got my wife. Come to me. Just remember what you making. Just Oh, that's here. That don't look good so far. I like those. Oh, yeah. Give me them feet and sandals. Oh, get it away from here. So you here. never wear sandals. I love it. They're flippy flappies. Flippy flappies. You're right, you're right, right. Meanwhile, what are you thinking? Comment below and tell us what you think this cow is thinking. Okay, first round done. They mm. shrunk. They didn't get smaller. So good. That's why we're like, let's make all of them. Yeah. I want that. I want that. I think that it's Brokeback Mountain. <laughs> Just based on how you said that. But now I don't think it is based on your face. It's definitely not Brokeback. What was but it? But I mean. I want that. Is it a football movie? B uh, Friday Night Lights. There is football in the movie. Uh, left side, strong side. But oh, once I tell Remember you. Remember the Titans. Is it about food? All right, so how much you bet I can throw this football over them there mountains over there? 
The coach at Oh, he's yeah. at Napoleon? Oh my gosh. And they, the uh, indestructible Tupperware. <laughs> and he, he's like, go ahead, give it a shot. Try to break it. If you, uh, if you buy this whole package, you get this model of a ship in a big, you know, this little yes, tiny yes. ship in the uh -huh. bottle thing. And then she goes, I want that. <laughs> I was way off. It's okay, baby. We also did a uh, mushroom risotto. I mean, that looks incredible. She did some asparagus, mushrooms. We got the scallops. Where are we gonna eat, did you say? Here in the face that way and look out the window. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> it looks like a painting. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Wow. Wow. Our meal is ready. We are very proud of ourselves. <laughs> Come on. So Come on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Okay. I wish we. Yeah. I wish you One guys day could try. We can make an extra plate, and you can put it through the camera. Oh, sure. <laughs> um, we are going to enjoy this, just the two of us, and then uh, we'll see you in a sec. The dishes are done. I believe my wife is sitting on the sofa, watching clips from the wedding. What are you watching right now? Hold on, I will show you. This is where you come into play. Because not only will these two be giving vows to each other, you guys have to give a vow as well. Because you guys are, because we all are close to this amazing couple, if there is ever a time where there would be a disagreement or anything, we are the ones that they are going to call. What I need from you guys is to vow that you won't take sides. With any advice that you give, it should always be leading them back to each other. If you promise to do that, say, we got you. We got you. Awesome. So, Timmy B was the one that uh, married us, and I love that he finished out the whole thing with not only having us have vows to each other, but everyone that was in attendance at that wedding, they had a vow to us as well, that any time we have a disagreement or something come up between the two of us and we turn to the people in our lives to complain or vent that those people, the ones that we love and cherish, don't split us up, but point us back in the direction of each other. Mm -hmm. And I think, wow. I, and everybody in my life, and not that like, I would call everyone and be like, oh, I'm having a hard day, but like, in every way, the people closest to me. I would say my sister too the most because she's like the closest person that I've been to. It's like, always said, I'm only gonna tell you things that bring you closer to each other and closer to Josh and like call me out first, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know? And I just think that's just very special. It's an amazing reminder, not only for us as a married couple, but anyone that we know in our lives that have committed themselves to someone. As long as it's not an abusive situation to always point them back in the direction rather than taking sides and oh, they're a dog or they're this or what a jerk. Yeah. Like at the end of it, point them back towards the person that they chose to be with. So I'm gonna close here. There's so much more to our day and our evening and this trip. Uh, I just wanted to document just a little bit of it uh, for today. We filmed a couple of things throughout this trip that you're gonna see, but um, I'm gonna close this out. Thank you so much for watching this little mini vlog. We love you and uh, happy anniversary. Mm -hmm. Be nice to yourselves, be nice to people. Au revoir.